Hey hey what is going on YouTube, it is Neo Dragon, the creator of this very game Zenforms Protectors and welcome to the first and hopefully a series of videos in where I hit up the mystery trade, I trade off my team and whatever Zenforms I get back I will then spend some time to increase their stats, increase their attacks, possibly evolve them and send them back into the mystery trade. Now the mystery trade if you don't know is access to the Callus Project Garden which is on the main menu. Um, the mystery trade, I'm just going to read what it says here, it's send off any Zen form from your team to the Callus Products Garden server, in return you'll get a random Zen form back. Your Zen form will then live on the server for another player, oh, I paraphrased there, <laughs> will live on the server for another player to get a chance of downloading in their mystery trade, you are limited to 4 downloads a day. Now I have got some hacks on because I am the developer of the game where I'm not going to be limited so I'm planning to send off the Zen forms here, let's just show you. I have a 2 star Aurel, a 2 star Warbore and a Nav Rimba that's also a 2 star. So the Aurel is an adolescent Zen form, it's currently the highest level stage you can get in the game. Warbore again is an adolescent Zen form, highest stage. And the kind of grey coloured Rimba is one of the like the rarest type of Zen forms you can get in the game, they're called Nav Zen forms. They're unlocked later on in the story but they have only a 1 in 348 chance of encountering the wild. So I'm going to send these 3 Zen forms off and whatever Zen forms I get back, which are going to be from real players, I'm then going to increase their stats and stuff and, as I said, send them back in. Now of course you'll have the chance to get these Zen forms as well. So let's see, we're going to send off the first one here, this is the RL. Bye bye RL. Now I should also say by the way, if I haven't said because I'm going to probably get confused as I'm going through this video because I am recording it live. Um, I am running version 1.2.7 which is a version I'm working on now so it may look different than what the version you're running on is. Um, you're also going to see stuff that I'm working on. For example you can see now the mystery trades have a little icon that will appear on the Zen form kind of little box there and stuff. Um, and I'm also running on the iPhone simulator on the Mac so if you hear any kind of clicking away it's me on the trackpad. So um, yeah so this is a blue rimba that we got from a guy called Mikey. He's also on the forum there, so you can see he is a validated user. I'm not going to try really pronounce his forum name. You can see he's done 32 trades and he has a user rating of 39, which means that his Zen form has been traded around and people have been ranking that Zen form. So obviously what happens is, if you have a higher user rating, well currently because it's the only way to increase user rating, if you have a higher user rating than your mystery trades, they are actually um, retrading that Zen form and that's how you're still getting rated because people are giving you a thumbs up or thumbs down. So let's give this guy a thumbs up for our mystery trade. Thank you for my blue rimba. Let's go back in. Now again, you can get that URL that's gone now in this video. If you miss it, you simply just have to miss your trade. Um, version 1.2.7 is bringing in tiered miss your trades. There's going to be four tiers, common, uncommon, rare and super rare. And depending on the evolution stage and the star rank, it will be put in a tier. But I still have it in the old system, which is the version that if you're running lower than 1.2.7, so 1.2.6 or 1.2.5, you will um, be still have um, a chance to get these Zen forms because it's, it's not here at the moment. So it's, this is basically a free for all. Let's send off the war boar. I love the design of that war boar, the blue with the red belly. Looks really cool. Who do we get back? Oh, we got back a red fader. Hmm. Don't know if you noticed, but a blue fader is my favorite Zen form. Or at least he messed around with in battle. I really like the move set. So a red one isn't too bad. And if you don't know, um, different colours Zen forms have different move sets. So you might see a red, a blue, and a green at the same Zen form. Well, each one actually has its own move pool. So when you go into learn attacks, so it will have its own move pool. So again, this is from um, Stormbringer, who I recently just validated on the form. Uh, her protector name is Jacob. Um, he's had 10 mystery trades and a user rating of 6. Well, let's give him a user rating of 7. Give him a thumbs up. Thank you, Stormbringer. And finally... Someone will be very lucky to get this. Here is my two star rank Rimba. Sending it off now. He's really cool looking, isn't he, with those kind of blue eyes? Grey with the blue. Oh! I actually think we got back my RL that I sent off. Which can happen. It's I think there's currently about 30 sand forms in the Mystery Trade database, so it's a 1 in 30 chance of which you get back. So. It is mine, you found the Zen form, your own Zen form, okay. So that was mine, again you can see it's from my test account Ben, which is the account I use on the simulator. I do play the game myself on my own iPhone 5, so this isn't my actual account. Alright, well, 
Let's hit up the mystery trade again and send them back off. Let's hope we, <laughs> we don't get anyone else. Boy, boy again, or right. else. Hopefully, we won't see it. What are the odds of that? What are the actual odds of that? Um, we just got back the Nav Rimba. And I'm assuming that's the one I just uploaded. It is. Oh my god. Well, this is a great video on the first of uh, hopefully many. Let's send it back off. You can see I have got a little bit of hacks on, as I said. Um, I'm a limited mystery trades. Yeah, I'm limited to four a day. Um, I have a little hack on that lets me just keep mystery trading. So, here we go now. A blue Slino. Let's see how we get here now. Who's this from? It's from some that isn't valid. Remember to get valid. I'm going to give a link in the description below. Make sure you get valid because I'm going to eventually block off Mistrade and other features, maybe future features that get introduced to the CP Garden. So to get valid, basically, you just have to go onto the form. Uh, it's just a way of basically you having a face and the community then getting together because they'll know who you are then because you are in the form. You can talk directly about your trades or whatever else. So Chrissy, get on the form and get validated. Um, we'll give you a thumbs up if you have zero rating. That's that's not on. We have to give you a thumbs up. I don't I don't think anyone gives thumbs down, do they? Right. So we have our three Zen forms here. Let's go into Zen form menu. Ignore the debug menu that you see down here that I'm kind of tapping on. That is again because I'm running my developer build here of 1.2.7. So again, something new that's coming on 1.2.7 is the Zen form kind of button has changed, and you can see there is an icon, so you can clearly see which ones you've got from the mystery trade. So let's go first into this Rimba. Um, okay, well first edit its stats. Let's um, get it up. I do again have hacks on to let myself have loads of SP, I think. So we're not seeing can we get each same form up a star rank. That would be pretty interesting. We'll start off by um, just increasing its attack. So attack, when you're increasing it, has a random chance of going... Or, sorry. So when your attack goes up, you spend 100 skill points to get it up, obviously. But if you look at the FP, it has a random chance between, or I'm getting confused with what I'm saying. It can go up a random value by one and three each time you press this. So you can see it's three, two, two. So it's very important. FP is used for attacking, and each attack uh, requires a certain amount of FP. So it's always very handy to have a high FP stat. Defense obviously increases your HP again. Same, it's um, increased by a random value between um, one and three. We'll get this up again, try it up to about 30. And of course defense, um, the higher defense the less damage you'll take in battle. Speed um, increases both your FP and your HP by 1 each time. But speed increases your evasiveness. Um, it also works out turn priority in battle as well and how often you can attack and that, that type of stuff. So we're still going so if you don't know Zen forms branch evolve based on their physical stats here which are the attack, defense and speed. So if we go into um, Evolve, you'll actually see kind of that's a Rin Rocks here that's going to evolve into. If we go back, so that's going to evolve based on its speed stat. If we go into, let's say, increase its attack, so it's 33, so that way then the attack stat is higher than the speed stat. If we go back in, you'll see it actually evolves. It's a different preview there, it's a different Zen form. It is a Rin Rock, and that's the one I'm going to go with, so let's evolve it. I'll probably just do one evolve animation and for the rest I'll skip. You can simply skip the animation by hitting the kind of the back button which is transformed into a forward button there. So there we go, we've got a blue Rinroke. And there it is. Let's see its attack. So it's got Thump, Humming, which lowers all the attacks at so That's not a bad attack. And Bubble Drain, which is I love the drain attacks like Ember Drain, Bubble Drain. They're great for just healing your zen like do a good bit of damage, it's not percentage based, they do a good bit of damage there. And then they do have a percentage base for healing, so they'll heal you by 10% every time you use the attack, which is great. To learn attacks, you simply tap on the free slot to learn attacks, or what you do to forget attacks, so for example, Thump here, you can just hit forget attack and you hit yes or no, and you can forget it. So let's get rid of Thump. We'll keep humming, we'll keep bubble drain. Well, look at horn hit. Horn hit, you can see its power there is 22, it's a really strong attack, it has a precision of 90 and its priority is normal, so there's priority of fast, normal and slow, so fast you, you'll pretty much 
hit like the first every go or normal kind of just worked on your speed stat and slow generally hits seconds after the enemy. So I'm gonna learn that until you just hit the learn button. And we'll try to get another one. I think focus might be a good one. Increase attack stat by 50%, that is a great attack. Now it does cost 9 FP, but once you get that you're gonna be doing some serious damage. Maybe even do it twice, like your stats are already doubled. And um, that's a good Zen form, I'm happy with that one. And um, the fader Oh, the fader has a status condition. It has um, it's what's down? I believe it's refresh there. If you look at the blue arrow, that's actually um, refresh, which heals its FP every turn. This is a pretty cool Zen form. It has good st um, high um, HP and FP. Its stats are very high already. Um, let's kind of get up a bit more. I'm gonna actually increase its speed stat because I wanted to go to a war shock. So again, this actually evolved from a Rimba, or sorry, from a Freno. So it evolved on its defense stat. So it's going to now evolve either on its next highest stat, so either attack or speed. So if we just put speed up here, we'll put it to 45. Um, we can now evolve that again. I haven't changed the stats too much. And there you can see it is going to go into War Shock, which is, let's just skip it, is a really cool looking same form. I love the blue War Shock as well. Again, I love blue Fader, I love the blue War Shock. Um, let's check out its attacks. It's gonna need some. We'll give it poison horns. Poison horns is great, so poison horns does some damage and then also poisons the target as well. So it, that's a great attack to always lead off with gives some poison horns. And the enemy will be in for a world, world of hurt. I always like having a stat boost move. So what actually attacks do I have? I have Leer boost, which is lowers the enemy's defense by 25% and also gives you refresh, which is actually what the same one. That's a cool attack, but I'm gonna give it another one, which is slight focus so slowly increases by 20% the attack stat so we'll keep it that that seems to be a cool one and finally we have the Slino here has clearly very low stats some also I haven't really showed you if you go into view stats there is elemental stats which are increased by kind of using items and stuff and they increase the strength of element based attacks you have our passive stats which are leveled up as you use them in battle and they increase kind of like might increases, gives you a bit more extra damage, dexterity and stuff like that, like willpower and stuff. You do get some um, cool boosts from them. And then of course there's the abilities which I haven't really been looked at. So defense increases by 15% with each fire based attack you do. So if we can give this same form some fire based attacks, it will really take advantage of its ability. So it does have ember drain already there. And if we give it flame spit as well. Um, I'm going to remove the slight focus on this same form. I'm going to give it my sound there I wanted, which was Dock Leaf. Dock Leaf actually just removes the poison status condition, which is always very handy. Um, let's evolve it straight away. So, if you don't know as well, when you evolve a same form, you actually do get a bit of kind of damage boost and damage reduction from the enemy. It's always very handy to evolve your same form, like a tip would be to evolve your same form first and then start increasing its stats because you do get that extra damage boost and damage resistance. So there we go. It's a Slinaku. We should always might as well just increase the stats again. So while well, we have I still have 8,000 skill points. Yeah, uh, put attack up. Try to get everything to 20, let's say yeah. I'm pretty sure I should be able to. I'm trying to do some quick maths in my head. And yeah that kicking is me and my trackpad furiously increase my stats. 20, let's kind of just go around and go again so you can just round them off 25. It's always good to have a very even Zen form, like you shouldn't really tank in one stat, so you shouldn't really be a tanker with your defense or with your speed. But then again, it does have advantages in battle sometimes. Like, I guess it really does come down to your place. But personally, for me, like, I'd rather like my Zen forms are all pretty equal. So, um,. While I was talking there, I clearly went crazy with the speed stat. We can probably get everything up to about 35. Let's see. I still have 2000 SP. Yeah, we'll make that. Get up. each one up to 35. And there we go, and the speed can stay slightly higher. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to send these M forms back into the mystery trade. So you can access the CP garden and the mystery trade again just by hitting the button here on the left hand side. Um, Make sure you're using the CP card, you really need to get into this feature, it's really cool, literally you just have to tap the sign in button and it'll set up your account and everything automatically. Once you're in then, 
um, your presentment, your options. Again, it might look slightly different because I am working on always, uh, like I really want to bring in some new features in the next update, which is 1.2%, which is the version I'm working on. But um, you can go into your profile here, user info, you can see your stats. And it also tells you how to validate yourself as well on the left hand side if you're not validated. And gives you some buttons that you can actually tap and get directly into the um, into the forum or wherever and try validate yourself. So as I said, I'm going to have links for that below for validating yourself. But let's send off these forms. So this is going to round out this video now. I'm going to send them off back into the mist trade. You will have a chance from after watching this video, you'll have a chance of getting them. Um, be sure to use the mist trade and try get them because like, these are going to be some cool Zen forms. And hopefully, whatever Zen forms I get back, I'm hoping I'll keep them on the team and eventually do another video and probably make this a series of videos from where I'm hitting up the mystery trade. And ironically, <laughs> I think I've actually got back the war. What's his name? War boar. I think I got back the blue war boar that I traded off earlier. Um. Ideally, I'd like a team that are not mine. What is up with me getting back on my Zen forms? This is a really, really is a bad showcase for my first video to be um, getting back to the exact same Zen forms nearly every time I miss you traded. So here goes off now the red war shock. Okay, here's a new one anyway. It's a red Slino. Let's see who this is, boy. Link, he's currently not in the form. He's a student protector, he has a user rating of 9 and mission trade of 3. That's a huge. Um, if you don't also know as well, you can actually look up the Zen form here in the stats. Again, it's alright, you can just hit yeah, the more info button, you can view all the different stats stuff. Cool ability and stuff. I'm gonna give that a thumbs up. You should you should do that when you get each mission trade and then probably rate each mission trade fairly, or you can just be a nice guy and give them the thumbs up. Or a nice girl. Okay, and we'll send off the last one now, which was the Senaku, that was it. Off you go. Bye bye Senaku. Oh my god. What are the odds? Well, I want you to get them Zen forms, so I'm going to send them back in because like that RL is really cool. The Warbore, I can't remember if I sent back in, but the Warbore is amazing. So, I'm hitting up the mystery. This isn't the end of the video yet because I'm going to send them back off until I get um, your Zen forms, other players' Zen forms. I don't want my own back. In you go. Oh, what? Wow. 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 Okay, so there's a really cool Alessand Zen form. Is it. What is his name? What is that dude's name? I don't even know my own Zen form's name. It's Bald Pike. Of course it's Bald Pike. Because he is a badass. Who sent me this? That is insane. Johnny. He's not even... Johnny, get on the form, man. That's a cool one. That's a really cool one. He clearly done the, my little trick of saying of where he evolved his, his Zen form up. It's still only a star rank 1. Let's have a look, quick look at his stats. You can see he just literally evolved it. That's, um, that's a great Zen form. You're getting a thumbs up for that, buddy. Wow, that'll be a fun one to play with now. I'll give that some cool attacks and hopefully show you a good strategy if we do another video. And finally, let's send off that RL again. Now, when uh, this update hits, which is under 7, when this hits, as I said, it's going to, the, tier, or the mystery trade is going to be tiered. So, whatever Zen form you send off in that tier, you're going to get this uh, equivalent Zen form back, like a one from the same tier. So, um, it's not really going to be as much as a free for all. Like you're going to kind of get something. Like if you send off, like if you send off a Nav Zen form, I currently have so that you get like they're super rare Zen forms, and they're currently the only Zen forms in that tier. You will get like a Nav back, like a different Nav back. So it's going to be really exciting, and like it's going to be really worth missing trading. Like again, this is really fun if you've got um, a lot of skill points, or you can make a little bit of a game out of this itself. But some people don't see the value of missing trading. I personally love it. Again, like um. I'm looking forward to helping you doing more of these. Give you a thumbs up, Vladimir. And there is the Zen Forms back. So that's it for the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Be sure to get Mr. Trading. Um, you can have a lot of fun with it. And as I said, if you're not having fun with it, like which some users are, so I have to be fair, there is going to be the tiered off Mr. Trading and it's going to be a little, like have a lot more value and definitely worth your while to get Mr. Trading once 1.2.7 hits. So be sure to 
tell your friends about Zen Forms and be sure to share this video, give it a like, hit subscribe on the channel and thanks for watching.